Hi. How you doing? I'm okay. What are you doing back here? Um, I wanted to come back and check on everything. Is, is that allowed? Um, for me it is, yeah. <laughs> you said you don't work here though, right? Yeah, it's, it's kind of complicated. You don't have to worry about that. Are you like an EMT or something? Uh, I guess something like that, yeah. Let's see. Your vitals look fine from over here. You feeling any better? Any different? Well, I'm not sick anymore, at mm. least. Mentally? Fine. All things considered, I guess. Okay. Um, do you mind if I come in there? Oh, sure. Pog. Okay, one sec. Uh, did you say Pog? Yeah, I said Pog, okay? <laughs> and when's the last time someone took your blood pressure? Probably the last time you were here. Oh my god. Not them dropping the ball. <laughs> here, I got you. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. How's your partner? They're feeling better. Uh, the doctor brought them back to their room after a few hours. No. Oh. They're probably asleep by now. And they'll also probably be discharged soon anyway. Well, that's good at least. Yeah, I know. But it probably means I won't get to see them. Why do you think that? Well, I heard one of the doctors say that they shouldn't have been let in in the first place, and that they're only going to let personnel in from now on. I don't think they're happy with us being in here. They're probably just scared. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had anyone be scared of me, though. It's usually the other way around. You're human, right? Yeah? Why? I, I don't mean to pry. I'm, I'm just nosy. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You can keep asking me stuff if you want. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. How'd you end up in Raleigh again? Well, my partner's a shapeshifter, and... We've been long distance for like a year. Oh, nice. Was it your first time meeting them in person? No, but it was different. How so? The city is... Okay, don't make fun of me, but it's magical. <laughs> <laughs> and seeing them be so at home here in... Showing me all these amazing things. I don't think I could have asked for anything better. So how'd you two meet then? I don't actually think I've met any, like, mixed magic couples in person. <laughs> mixed magic? Is it that uncommon? Well, yeah, it's the sort of thing you hear about, but I don't think I've ever actually seen it. Okay, so... It's kind of really embarrassing, but... We met online in a CSGO comp match. Mm-hmm. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> okay, but that's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, yeah, but... <laughs> I don't know, we just... We ended up playing a lot together and, like... One day we just got on call and stayed up until like 6 a.m. just talking to each other. And then we just started talking like every day and after four months we said we liked each other. You two seem like you really care about each other. Yeah. 
Do you have Instagram? Yeah. Can I? Okay. Here. Are you looking for pictures of them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. No, it's it's cute. It's really cute. I'm I'm going through a hard time, man. <laughs> oh, there it is. This is like the only picture I have of us together. Really? Yeah. It was when they came to visit me. That was the only other time we'd been together in person. I miss this. Even though I was literally doing this like max five days ago. <laughs> Didn't you say you got sick like a week ago? And it was three days ago that I blew up. Yeah. <laughs> well, back then it was like cute sick because you know, they were taking care of me and it was like fluffy <laughs> and what <laughs> I'm sorry cute sick is a really funny way of putting it <laughs> well okay I didn't know how else to explain it <laughs> but I wouldn't know how to explain it either so <laughs> <laughs> I get it though um, it seems like you were having fun before you got sick at least yeah what'd you guys do we just spent a lot of time together you know we spent lots of time cuddling and lots of exploring around like where come on <laughs> <laughs> give me details <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You you don't have to tell me. <laughs> no, it's it's okay. Um I don't know. We went around to their favorite places like cafes, parks, and we went to the balcony on top of the tree too. Ooh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was kind of begging them to take me up there. <laughs> I mean, as you should cuz it is awesome up there. <laughs> yeah. That was like the day before I got sick, too. Hmm. Man, up until last spring, I never even really considered what coming to really for the first time is like. Hmm. Have you always lived here? Yeah, I grew up here. Um, but my assistant, who you probably saw, they are half fairy, and so hmm. they lived somewhere else for all their life and then they came here to study and um i literally met them like in office hours or something <laughs> um and we became friends and now uh they help me out wow i never met anyone that's half i guess <laughs> <laughs> maybe i should introduce you to actually because they only got a handle on their magic when i met them <laughs> <laughs> so maybe they could help you figure it out too you really think I'm going to be able to use magic? I mean, I think so. We can't really say for certain, because it's usually genetic, but... You know, you said you felt it, so that means your body can handle magic. Hmm. So, if you're half human, half magic, you get the powers, but... If you're half one kind and another kind, do you get both? Nah. That would be cool, but <laughs> you just get one or the other. Hmm. So are your parents both Katorian then? Uh, not sure. I'm adopted, so oh. <laughs> I don't really know. Sorry. No, you're good. On that note, though, this might be a little bit of an awkward question, but have you, like, told your family you're here? I I didn't I didn't tell them I was coming. I didn't want to tell them about it. Bad relationship. Sorry, that was really presumptive of me. <laughs> I mean, you're not really wrong. 
Do you live in Warna? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that sounds about right then. <laughs> <laughs> Is it that bad? Well, <laughs> they just don't tend to like Raelia that much over there. At, at least f- from what I heard. I guess you're not really wrong. Yeah, it's just that they're probably going to get contacted about you being here, like, in the hospital. Yeah, I'm sure I'll get an earful from them. But in Werna, it's it's more like... Like what? There's like an air of mystery around Raelia over there. Really? (laughs) Well, not like in the fun way. I don't know, like, no one really knows much about the city or magic. We only really hear what the news tells us. Ah, fuck, the blowing up probably isn't going over very well, huh? (laughs) Yeah, I mean, let alone talking about Raelia from over here, it seems like they don't even like us being within the borders. (laughs) Well, that's just the government. Most people in Warna kind of just feel wary, I guess. It's weird because the states kind of just don't mind us, I think. Really? I mean, as far as I can tell. (laughs) At least I can actually get permission to excavate over there, and it doesn't take, like, three months. Excavate? What are you, an archaeologist? I mean... Oh, I was kidding. (laughs) (laughs) I Like, that's not really it. I'm I'm a researcher of all things related to Katorians, and that means sometimes I have to go spelunking like a headass. <laughs> Wait, why, though? Like, what are you excavating for? Like, okay, story time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so Katorians used to have this big underground city. What? When was this? Like a super duper long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. How the hell did I never hear about that? I don't know. I wouldn't I wouldn't expect anyone outside of Relia to know that. Um well, that's like really cool. <laughs> You're like a combination archaeologist, anthropologist. Is there a word for people who study magic? Magicologist. Oh. <laughs> no one actually says that though. People usually just call themselves like the subtype, like thaumatologist or whatever. Huh. So what are you then? Uh, I mean, in my work, I don't really talk about katoral magic. It's more like the practices and whenever it pops up in like historical or archaeological evidence, but. I mean, if I did, I would be called a (laughs) Katorologist. So why don't you do that? I mean, there isn't really much to study about Katoral magic. (laughs) Like, it's kind of clear-cut what it does at this point, but um, the old civilization of Katoris has so much history that we don't know, and that is so wrapped up in the history of magic in general that that's way more worthy of study, in my opinion. And to be honest, I, part of me just really wants to be the one to figure it all out, you know? (laughs) So, do you actually, like, care about it then? (laughs) Well, yeah, of course. I mean, I've wanted to do it for a while, like, quite a few years. Oh, (laughs) sorry. (laughs) Um, I've wanted to do it since I was, like, 13 or something, so... (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) <laughs> Shut up. You can't have shit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. What was what was the other one you mentioned? Like Thama? Oh, Thaumaturgy is um shapeshifter, fairy, and dire magic. Oh, so it's like a grouping instead of a specific type? Yeah, it's just like all the ones related to nature mostly. Hmm. I guess I never thought about them like that. They've always just kind of been, like, separate to me. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, because Katorian and Asolian magic is mainly to do with 
combat or fabrication of some kind. Oh. Have they always been grouped like that? The grouping didn't really exist until, I don't know, like a, 60, 70 years ago or something like that. Oh. Whenever the School of Thaumaturgy was founded in, at the university, um, <laughs> um, it was proposed by this guy named Naren, and so he, like, grouped them all together so that there could be a dedicated school um, for people other than Katorians and Asolians, which is pretty cool. Yeah. And, like, I never learned any of this stuff. <laughs> I didn't know there was this much, like, conflict in magic history, you know? Like, was that even, like, a conflict? <laughs> I mean, it didn't go over terribly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at the time, it was mostly fairies that didn't want to be associated with dyers. But, like, the powers are so inextricably connected that it's kind of just accepted at this point. Or are fairies still like that? I think I kind of got that vibe at some point from my partner. Nah. I mean, there will always be a few weirdos, <laughs> but for the most part, fairies are just normal. <laughs> uh, talking about that sect kind of makes me nervous anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, how long have you wanted to do research? Um, and it was kind of a recent development, I guess. Did your boyfriend get you into it? M My what? <laughs> the big guy. He, Isn't he a professor or something? He's not my boyfriend. <laughs> Are you sure? Because... Because <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, you guys look like boyfriends. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know. I guess it was like intuition <laughs> and even my partner thought there was something For there sake, man. <laughs> <laughs> sorry I think you guys just like look at each other really intensely so my first instinct was just like oh they're fucking what <laughs> 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 so I'm sorry I'm sorry I'll stop I'll stop I'm sorry <laughs> no it's okay <laughs> it's just you're not the first person to have thought that. Oh. And so... So it's a sign. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm not saying it means I'm right, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, change the subject, please. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, do you have a car? Okay, not what I was expecting, <laughs> but now I'm curious. Well... Okay, so in Werna, you really can't properly live if you don't have a car. And from what I've gathered, <laughs> that's not really the case here. I mean, yeah, I guess that's true. Like, Noah has a car, but I don't. <laughs> My partner said that you're never more than a 30-minute walk from a tram station in Relia. Is that true? Within the actual city boundaries, yeah, pretty much. I can't even imagine. <laughs> like, living here must be so nice. Oh my god, also, there's a fucking Whole Foods over there? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, like, I'm so sold on living here every second that passes. Right, like, we're sat, we're listening. <laughs> <laughs> Can humans even live in Raylan? Uh, Yeah, I mean, like, there's no laws against it for sure, but just might be a little harder. <laughs> Does magic really make that big of a difference? Well, like, a lot of things like residency benefits and that whole structure is really geared towards magic people um, because they're, you know, they're scattered all over the world and they want, really it wants to attract them to move here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not sure what the scheme is like for humans. And also just, like, no one will expect to meet a human, you know? And that might come with some, like, legal and social headaches. I guess that makes sense. What do you need for citizenship here, though? For people with magic, you live for one year and prove that you have powers. 
for regular humans, I think it's five years. Hmm. What's rent like here? Uh, I don't know. Um, you could get a studio in Ward 6 for like $500 or less. Whoa! NA dollars? Yeah. <laughs> and there's like city housing too for like dirt cheap. Are there rent controls? Yep. <sighs> Ooh. It might be worth it. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's your rent like? Oh, my one bed in Salt Lake is like 1300 What? <laughs> okay, but you're like city center, right? No, that would be like 2K or something. Huh? <laughs> that's criminal. Yeah. No, like, <laughs> that's so fucked up. And you don't even have trains? I mean, we have buses, but not good ones. Oh my <laughs> god. You know what, you might be right. Maybe you should move here. <laughs> Wait, you know what? Hmm? Since you have magic powers now... Wait, I do have magic powers now. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that would work, but... I mean... Like, the government's got to deal with y'all somehow. <laughs> and from what it's sounding like... Lorna's not going to want me back. Is what so... I'm saying. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> Do you really think they'll let me stay here? I mean, I can't be sure about anything, but I don't really see another option. <laughs> oh god, what am I gonna do about my job? Can they not hire from Relia? Werner makes it kind of difficult, so even if it's not illegal, they might prefer to just not do it. Can they just fire you like that? Like for something that's not your fault? I mean, I already work hybrid. So, I guess there's a chance I could stay, but I kind of doubt it. What the fuck? I always wondered. Like, since I started dating my partner, I always wondered what it would be like to have magic. <laughs> well, you won't have to wonder for much longer. <laughs> What does it feel like? What? Like casting magic, I guess. Honestly, the first time you do it, like, on purpose, it's pretty amazing. Really? Yeah. Nothing can really match the feeling of, like, you know, snatching control of the flow of magic. And it always flows through you, whether you use it or not, but... Once you open the floodgate, it's, it's, it's incomparable. <laughs> yeah, I'm using big words. <laughs> does it, does it feel like cold? Actually, yeah, it kind of does. Like water running under your skin? I think I felt it when I, uh... When you blew up? Yeah. I was a bit distracted, though. <laughs> I can imagine. Is it okay if I ask what happened? Like, I know you've probably been asked that a hundred times by now, but... I mean, <laughs> what else is there to say? What did it feel like? I don't know. At the beginning of the week, I, it just felt like the flu or a cold or something. It just never got any better. We decided to go to the hospital, and when we were almost there, my... My head started pounding, and then the skin on my back felt like it was on fire, and then my head, and then everything. I'm, I'm still not actually sure if, 
if there was a point where I actually was on fire. But I think I remember a really, a really brief moment when the magic hit me. It, it rushed under my skin all over. But it wasn't something I did. It was, it was done to me. I, I didn't command it flowing into me, but it did. <laughs> and it thrashed through me like rapids, but it didn't stop the burn. It didn't take away any of that pain. It was just cold. And so Never felt anything even similar to that. Just the worst fire and the worst ice at once. And then it was just gone. And I felt, saw, and heard nothing. I went from worst high to the deepest darkest low <laughs> until they woke me up my baby and I felt their magic in my head like a like a trickle but this time it was warm and calm and it was like it touched and woke up every nerve in my body every cell one by one and I could feel my eyes enough to open them again I felt my lips and my tongue enough to speak <laughs> and I don't think I've ever been that relieved to be able to open my eyes. <laughs> I don't think I've ever felt relieved to wake up. <laughs> A couple of years ago, I didn't think anyone or anything could make me feel that happy to be alive. But until they showed up. <laughs> he warmed my life and woke every part of me up again twice <laughs> I don't think I've ever really thanked them for that. And they probably know, but... You asked earlier how I felt mentally. Y yeah Did you know? Know what? That something was messing with my head. I had a hunch, yeah. What are you feeling? What's it... What is it doing? Sometimes it... It feels like there's someone else here. Like in the room? No. But they're watching. It's starting to scare me. And it's been there on and off since I woke up. And I thought it was just my mind being weird, but it hasn't gone away. Has it said anything? No. What else do you feel? I don't know. 
I can't really tell, but sometimes, I don't know, it, it feels like it's taunting me. I'm not really sure if I should tell you this, but... We knew about the fire powers for a couple weeks. Yeah, I, I saw the news about it. The guy attacked the library with them, right? Yeah, um... I was kind of there. Huh? Well, more than just there, I guess. I was kind of involved. Holy shit. I mean, what happened? I mean, that's not really important. What is, is that I got to talk to the guy that did it. Like, after he was arrested, I was able to convince RDLE to let me interview him. And he said something gave him the powers, and that he could hear its voice. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <sighs> we... We hadn't been sure if he was just losing it or if they were actually related to the powers. And do you think that might be the case? I mean, it hasn't... It hasn't talked. It's just... It's just there. Okay. Don't tell anyone about this, okay? Okay. And don't tell anyone what I told you either. Am I gonna die? Am I... Am I gonna go crazy? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Am I really dangerous? <laughs> I, I should keep it a secret, right? To, for my own safety. Um, kinda. It's... It's wrapped up in RDMP at this point, and I really don't want to get in trouble with them, and you shouldn't either. <laughs> to be honest, you probably just shouldn't have told me, <laughs> and... <sighs> you really don't want to make them mad, is my point. They have a lot of am I, power. Am I going to be okay with, with them? I don't think there will be any problems, but... I'm... I'm really not exaggerating about the amount of power they have. Like, they can make you disappear kind of power. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> to be honest, the guy I know from there has been pretty... silent... since it, all of this happened. <sighs> and I don't really know what he's planning to do, but... This whole thing is kind of under his oversight. And he was the one handling the other people before. How, how many of them were there before we all blew up? Three. There were three of them. <laughs> and the guy basically snatched them up whenever he could and detained them so that they wouldn't cause any damage. But he got to... He didn't get to library guy. Um, and so RDLE got him first. And so he busted in and just snatched all of us up for a bit there. Can I look at your back? The mark? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's okay. <sighs> they are all the same. What? <sighs> we all must write. Everyone's marks are exactly the same, down to the symbols, the order, and the size. They're just in different places. What does that mean? I mean, they obviously weren't isolated phenomena to begin with, but that kind of suggests that there's some sort of uniformity to it all. Like, 
you guys all blew up at the same time, regardless of where you were when you were infected. Same powers, same mark. You trying to find what breaks the pattern? I'm just waiting for something to be different. Okay, this is a wild thing to say, but is there like a science to magic? Well, yeah, I mean, it's all about the patterns, and finding out what breaks this pattern could help us figure out the underpinnings of the powers, and like, if there's a condition that changes how the power works, we know what to, like, prod at, I guess. I guess that makes sense. I don't really... I don't really know what I was expecting. <laughs> I mean, it really is just normal research and testing. Well, I don't know how magic works. For all I know, it has its own bullshit. <laughs> well, it is still magic, so there is... There's always a little bit of bullshit. Um, but there's usually always some underlying logic. Okay. So... You have no idea what the underlying logic of my powers are? Well, your powers haven't existed before. Oh, really? Did no one tell you that? I think I probably heard it, but... I thought it was just like you had never seen it. No, uh... There's no real record of anyone being able to control fire with their magic. Let alone... I mean... <laughs> A human acquiring magic powers that aren't hereditary is completely unheard of. You've shattered our understanding of magic. Shit. Sorry, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> like, really, you... You might not get how significant this all is. I mean, looking past the f fucking... Explosions and potential uh, uh, mental illness, <laughs> I guess. Like, this is all world breaking, pretty much. Especially for someone like Noah, whose whole job now is researching shit like this. And Rial, whose job it is to suppress it before it gets out of hand. <laughs> well,. It seems like he's kind of dropping the ball on that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one's different, so I think we can cut him a little bit of slack. <laughs> you know, you kind of seem excited about all this. Well, <laughs> okay, hear me out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, everything about this event has been a terrible tragedy right and and should have been prevented at all costs but <laughs> oh no <laughs> there's fire magic now <laughs> and humans can get the fire magic now <laughs> and i'm human <laughs> like exactly like you have the new fire magic and I just think that's incredible and amazing, and I want to put you under a, a microscope. <laughs> okay, that's definitely a little bit weird. <laughs> just a little bit. <sighs> Is it snowing? Hmm? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Do you get snow in Salt Lake? Yeah, I just really like it. <laughs> Me too. <clears throat> um, you know, I know we already kind of talked about it, and you know, I don't mean to just bring it up again, but <sighs> things aren't gonna be normal again, you know. And for a while, it's it's only going to get harder to figure shit out. <laughs> and, you know, I, I joke around a lot, but um, 
You know, I, I care about you. And everyone else here. And I just want to get to the bottom of it all. I know. Do you really think things will get better? That I'll get better? I do, yeah. And I want you to think that too, okay? As hard as it is, I want you to believe in that as much as I do. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Yeah. Here, how about I give you my phone number? <laughs> sure, I guess. But why? Just, like, if your partner isn't available, or you just need someone to talk to, you can call me. I'll always pick up, I promise. That's, that's really sweet of you. Thanks. Of course, yeah. Alright, well, I don't want to bother you any longer, so I'll leave you alone for a while. Wait, before you go, I have, I have a question. Yeah? Um, what's your name again? <laughs> oh my god, I've been here for like an hour. I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I'm Cal. Okay, uh, I'm Corey. Yeah, <laughs> I, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, will you come back anytime soon? Yeah, I mean, if no one else comes to see you, just let me know and I'll, I'll come and harass you or something. <laughs> okay. And don't stay awake too long, okay? Mm-hmm. Get some sleep. Got it. See ya.